You're backstage at West Winds today. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about sand. We do a lot with sand around here. If you haven't experienced the wonders of sand and all the creative things you can do with it, then you're in for a treat, all right? So uh, we are backstage right now, and I'm gonna show you a few tricks that we've learned in a few of the different ways that we use it around here. Okay, in order to show you some things today, I'm going to uh, use this black cloth. You get spread out here. We're going to take as many of the wrinkles out as we possibly can. Uh, pretend that this is a, a tablecloth, okay, that is laying on the table. We use a lot of black tablecloths around here because there's cool things you can do with sand. Okay, now one of the things that we'll do quite often around here is we'll just get a handful of sand and uh, we'll make designs, just freeform designs on cloth. Sometimes you can use this on a communion table. You can get creative, make things like flowers. Let's go dump this one off so we can show you something else. You want to make sure that you're getting yourself some fine sand, all right, because the more coarse the sand is, the harder it is to, to work with a lot of times. Although you'd be surprised, you can do some very creative things with that too. Now occasionally what we'll do is we'll take something like a, a funnel that's going to allow the sand to, to come through it. I'll use stencils that I've created on my own a lot, you know, that, uh, just with some poster board and X-Acto knives. I use it in my artwork, use it in my paintings, use it to tag things around here at the church. Uh, one of the things that we found too is that, and big kudos to my assistant Angie for figuring this out, one of the things that you can do is you can use your stencils with the sand and do some very cool things. So uh, here's a stencil that I made last week. Uh, or a couple of weeks ago in Fusion when I did some painting and made the stencil live and then uh, did some things with it. Uh, we're gonna use this stencil right here just to show you what you can do with sand. Now, one of the tricky things about stencils is that you wanna make sure that you can get it as flat as possible. You want your fabric to not have many wrinkles in it and you want your stencil to be able to lay flat. And then uh, what you wanna do is you wanna pour some of that fine sand into a funnel, all right? Hold your stencil down and then lightly just sprinkle sand over the stencil. Don't be too worried about getting sand outside of the stencil and on the fabric because that's only gonna add to it. It's gonna make it look pretty cool. All right, then you wanna carefully pick up the stencil and get it out of the way. You might want to create a less detailed stencil and then allow yourself to come back and, and do something with it after.
Yes, you too can be a sand artist. That was dumb. <laughs>